Hi everybody, my name is Chris Smeller and I am a singer-songwriter and a estate planning specialist and a retirement specialist. I'm a legal document assistant. I'm licensed with the State Bar of California to prepare documents and I have spent the last 20 years on estate planning and what I do is I travel all around the country presenting a workshop which I call the Retirement Survival Workshop. And this includes a workshop on protection of assets from long-term care, nursing home costs, probate, and the Great Depression. Our first part of the workshop is on living trusts. And to make a long story short, basically, most people are under the impression if something happens to them and they pass away, that their assets are going to go to their family if they create a will. But they will via court and probate. Well, probate is court, courts take attorneys, and attorneys take money. So living trusts have been around since the Middle Ages, and they've been used to protect your assets not only from probate, but they allow you to deliver what your family, you're leaving your family directly. So a living trust is a legal document created to avoid probate. And with a proper living trust, you can set up a whole estate plan that keeps you out of the court system. What we do is we have a living trust package, and that package includes living trust, powers of attorney for financial. So if you become incapacitated, you want to have someone you can trust to pay your bills or make any medical decisions for you. We have living wills included in this. The whole package is a living trust package. Now, people don't really realize that an estate plan is a comprehensive set of things that, a foundation that you need to have set in place. With a living trust, that's only the first part. So, when I give a presentation, not only do I speak about living trust, I speak about estate planning or an estate of mine, which is a peace of mind that you get when you accept Jesus as your Lord. That gives you the right point of view. And we've combined an estate planning workshop with singing and speaking. So we have several presentations we go all over the country telling everybody about. And when you have a living trust, that's just the foundation of the estate plan. You also want to be aware of that Medicare won't protect you if you have a catastrophic illness and end up in a nursing home. I have been going through this with my sweet mommy for about nine years and what they have done is they've set everything up to basically take a lot of what you have before you die in nursing homes because Medicare doesn't cover you. Two-thirds of all the people that go into a nursing home are there for probate. I mean, they're there for catastrophic illness. Only one-third is for probate. So it's a very important thing that you need to consider. 40% uh, of everybody that ends up in a nursing home is under 50, under 65, basically. I'm trying to consolidate all of this information. There's so much there you should be aware of. Whether you have an estate or you don't have an estate, powers of attorney are really good things to have if you become incapacitated and or need somebody to take care of any of your financial affairs for you. Living trusts include all of those things that we prepare for people. I'm, I am, again, a retirement specialist and when you plan to retire or even as you're working you need to think about all these things ahead of time what would happen if something happened to you right now we are in an unusual world so you need to think about all of that what will happen to you not only if you pass away but what will happen to you if you have a catastrophic illness or if you become incapacitated or if you go on a trip if I go on a trip and I go skiing and I break my leg where am I going to recover, I'm going to a nursing home. So it's not an age thing, and it doesn't mean that if you prepare a living trust, you're gonna die. Well, that's the first part of the estate plan. The second part is where you're gonna go after. Of course, those are all the things of what we call estate planning or a state of mind. And being an um, inspirational speaker, that's what I put together packages where I, I talk and sing. Right now, we have a, a CD out called The Journey Home. And I've been blessed with this song, songs all over the world right now. We have our first number one off of this song called Be A Light. 
and also um, inner cell phone to Jesus. You might have seen that on TV. It's been broadcasting all around the world. We love to share this with people. Anybody watching this, I invite you to send me an MP3 and let me know that you saw this and I'll be happy to send you a free MP3 of the song that we've got out on the radio. We hope to invite you. Right now we also have another song out that um, I co-wrote in Nashville with Mark Allen Barnett and it also has uh, Eric Hinson on there. We're broadcasting that all over for our dads and those are good things to do. Again, I want to invite you to learn about how to protect your assets from long-term care, catastrophic illness, probate, and the Great Depression. And remember, if you have any questions about what we're talking about, or you want to invite us to come speak at your group, civic clubs, associations, feel free to email me at chris, K-R-I-S, at Chris Miller Music. K-R-I-S at K-R-I-S Miller, M I. L L E R music.com or you can even call me at 951-926-4158. Be aware that there's a lot of law changes and there's a lot of things that you should be aware of. Don't put things off. You know, procrastination is one of the biggest sins that we've all got and I can't remember where I put mine and maybe we should talk about it later, but it's something that we need to deal with. So don't procrastinate. Make plans while the sun is out because he'll be back any, any moment now in a flash. Thank you all, God bless.